was a time, not very long ago, when we lived in an enchanted world of elegant palaces and grand parties. The year was 1916, and my son, Nicholas, was the Tsar of Imperial Russia. We were celebrating the 300th anniversary of our family's home. And that night, no star burned brighter than that of our sweet Anastasia, my youngest granddaughter. She begged me not to return to Paris, so I had a very special gift made for her to make the separation easier for both of us. For me? Is it a jewelry box? Dimitri, you belong yes. in the kitchen! Look. It plays our lullaby. You can play it at night before you go to sleep. And pretend that it's me singing. On the wind, across the sea, hear this song and remember. Soon you'll be home with me. Once upon a December. <laughs> Read what it says. Together in Paris. Really? Oh, Grandmama! Mm. <laughs> but we would never be together in Paris. For a dark shadow had descended upon the house of the Romanovs. His name was Rasputin. We thought he was a holy man, but he was a fraud. Power man and dangerous. How dare you return to the palace? But I am your confidant. Confidant? Ha! You are a traitor! Get out! You think you can banish the great Rasputin? By the unholy powers vested in me, I banish you with a curse! Mark my words. You and your family will die within a fortnight. I will not rest until I see the end of the Roman offering forever! Consumed by his hatred for Nicholas and his family, Rasputin sold his soul for the power to destroy them. Go. Fulfill your dark purpose. Conceal the fate of the Tsar and his family once and for all. From that moment on, the spark of unhappiness in our country was fanned into a flame that would soon destroy our lives forever. lives were destroyed that night. What had always been was now gone forever. And my Anastasia, my beloved grandchild, I never saw her again. Bye.
Fergus call me. Said Peter's Fergus Blake. My head that made like a frozen head in here. Oh, oh, since the revolution, our lives have been so great. I could be smart and gossip and get us through the day. Bazaar did not survive. One daughter may be still alive. Huh? The princess has Please do not repeat. <laughs> Painting, it's Romanov, I swear. Don't you suppose the Germans come around my love I got these from the palace, the east line with real fur. It could be worth a fortune if it belonged to her. Well, Dmitri, I got to the theater. Everything's going according to plan. All we need is the girl. Just think, Vlad, no more forging papers, no more stolen goods. We'll have three tickets out of here. One for you, one for me, and one for Anastasia. It's the rumor, the legend, the mystery. It's the Princess Anastasia who will help us fly. You and I, friend, will go down in history. We'll find a girl to play the part and teach her what to say. Dress her up and take her to Paris. Imagine the reward her dear old grandmama will pay. Who else could pull it off but you and me? We'll be rich. We'll be rich. We'll be out. We'll be out. And St. Petersburg will have some more to talk about. <laughs> in the road. Go left. Bye! Are you listening? Bye, everybody! I'm listening, Comrade Fennenkoff. You've been a thorn in my side since you were back here, acting like the Queen of Sheba. Bye! Instead of the nameless no account you are. For the last ten years, I fed you, I clothed you, I kept a roof over my head. How is it you don't have a clue as to who you were before you came to us, but you can remember all that? I do have a clue to... Ah, I know. Together in Paris. So, you want to go to France to find your family, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little Miss Anya, it's time to take your place in life. In life and in line. And be grateful, too. Together in Paris! <laughs> be grateful. <laughs> be grateful, Anya. I am grateful. Grateful get away! Go left, she says. Well, I know what's to the left. I'll be Anya the orphan forever. But if I go right, maybe I could find... Whoever gave me this necklace must have loved me. This is crazy. <laughs> me? Go to Paris? Send me a sign! A hint! Anything! <laughs> Time to play right now, okay? I'm waiting for a sign. Please leave me alone. Give me that back. Oh, great. A dog wants me to go to St. Petersburg. Okay. I can take a hint. Will 
here. Hey! Hey! Stop! 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 Well, hold on a minute! Hold on! Now, how did you get in he here? Excuse me, child. Do you see what I see? No. <gasps> yes. Yes! A dog. Are you Dimitri? Cute. Perhaps that all depends on who's looking for him. My name is Anya. I need travel papers. They say you're the man to see, even though I can't tell you who said that. Hmm. And, and what, what, hmm. what are you circling me? What, are, what, were you a vulture in another life? I'm, I'm sorry, Anya. It's, it's Anya. Anya. It's Anya. Just, it's just that you look an awful lot like... And... Never mind. Um, now, you said something about travel papers. Uh, yes. I'd like to go to Paris. You'd like to go to Paris? Mm -hmm. Oh, is this here? Oh, oh look. Oh, oh, he likes me. Nice dog. Oh, uh, now, let me ask you uh, something. Anya, was it? There's a last name that goes with that? Well, actually, uh, this is going to sound crazy. I don't know of my last name. I was found wandering around when I was eight years old. And uh, before that, before you were eight? Look, uh, look, I know it's strange, but I don't remember. I have very few memories of my past. Hmm, that's... that's perfect. Well, I do have one clue, however, and that is Paris. Paris? Right, so can... so? Can you two help me or not? Hmm. I, I take it. Uh, sure would like to. Um, in fact, oddly enough, we're going to Paris ourselves. Uh, and I've got three... uh, well, this one is... But I've, I've got three tickets here. Uh, unfortunately, the third one is for her, Anastasia. Oh. We are going to reunite the Grand Duchess, Anastasia, with her grandmother. You do kind of resemble her. The same blue eye. The Romanov eye. Nicholas's smile. Alexandra's chin. Oh, look, she even has the grandmother's hands. She's the same age, the same physical type. Are you trying to tell me that you think that I am Anastasia? All I'm trying to tell you is that I've seen thousands of girls all over the country, and not one of them looks as much like the Grand Duchess as you. I mean, look at the portrait. I knew you were crazy from the beginning, but now I think you are both mad. Why? You don't remember what happened to you. No one knows what happened to her. You're looking for family in Paris? And her only family is in Paris. You ever thought about the possibility? That I could be royalty? Mm. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of hard to think of yourself as a duchess when you're sleeping on a damp floor. But sure, yeah, I guess every lonely girl would hope she's a princess. And somewhere, one little girl is... After all, the name Anastasia means she will rise again. Really wish we could help, but the third ticket is for the Grand Duchess Anastasia. Good luck. Why didn't you tell her about a brilliant plan? All she wants to do is go to Paris. Why give away a third of the reward money? I'm telling you, we're walking away too soon. Not to worry, I got it all under control. All right, but walk a little slower. Dimitri, wait! D did you call me? If I don't remember who I am, then who's to say I'm not a princess or a duchess or whatever she is, right? Mm-hmm. Go on. Yeah, and if I'm not Anastasia, the Empress will certainly know right away, and it's all just an honest mistake. Sounds plausible. But if you are the princess, then you'll finally know who you are and have your family back. <laughs> you know, you know he's right. Either way, it gets you to Paris. Right. Ow. Mm. May I present? Her Royal Highness, the Grand Duchess Anastasia. Look out! We are going to Paris. Uh, dog stays. Talking about dog goes. No, dog's not dog. I say he's going. I'm allergic to dogs. Anastasia. Yeah, just one problem there, fella. Anastasia's dead. All the Romanovs are dead. They're dead. Dead, dead, dead. Am I right, my friend? I mean, how could that be? Oh, no. Oh, come on. Am I supposed to believe they didn't woke up after all these years just because some guy claims she's their own enough? Okay, okay, I get the message. Enough already with the glowing and the smoke people. <sighs> if that thing's come back to life, it must mean Anastasia's alive. Just leave the dog. I'm not leaving the dog. And that's her. I'll be trained to get. Wow! No! Tell you 
you are now. Who dares intrude on my solitude? Get up! Is that you? Master, you're alive? Yeah, in a manner of speaking. Whoa, that's all right out there, sir. Something's happened. Yeah. Whoopsie. I knew it. I could feel the dark forces stirring. I'm not surprised because I saw her. Anastasia. Anastasia. Alive? Uh, sir, your lips. They're, um... Romanov. Wow. Yeah, ain't that the kick in the head? I guess a curse just ain't what it used to be, huh, sir? That's why oh, I'm oh. stuck here in limbo. My curse is unfulfilled. Oh! 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 <laughs> Look at me. I'm falling apart. <laughs> I'm a wreck. Actually, considering how long you've been dead, you look pretty good. <laughs> uh, sir, you do, you do. <laughs> sir, is this the face of a bat who would lie to you? Come on, for a minute there you had your old spark back. If only I had lost a gift from the dark forces. The key to my powers. What? You mean this reliquary? Oh. Where did you get that? Oh, I found it. Give it to me! All right, all right, don't get so grandy. My old friend, together again. <laughs> now my dark purpose will be fulfilled, and the last of the Romanovs will die! In the dark of the night, I was tossing and turning. In the nightmare I had was as bad as can be. It scared me out of my mind. A corpse falling to bits. Then I opened my eyes and the nightmare was me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I was once the most mystical man in all Russia. Whoa. When the royals betrayed me, they made a mistake. Whoa. My curse made each of them pay. But one little girl got away. Little Anya, beware, Rasputin's away. In the dark of the night, he's on the blind I was just saying Please, that we... don't talk anymore, okay? It's only gonna upset me. Fine. I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet if you will. All right, I'll be quiet. Fine. 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 You think you're gonna miss it? Miss what? You're talking? No. Russia. Nope. 
But it was your home. It was a place I once lived. End of story. Well, then you must plan on making Paris your true home. What is it with you and homes? Well, for one thing, it's something that every normal person wants. And for another thing, it's a thing where you... What? You know, oh, forget it! Fine. <gasps> Thank goodness it's you. Just please remove him from my sight. What have you done to her? Me? It's her! Ha! Oh, no. An unspoken attraction. Attraction? That's, give me a little breath. Have you lost your mind? I was only asking a secret question. Attraction. Ridiculous. Yes, man. The traveling papers were blue, but now they are red. <laughs> That's what I hate about this gun. Family things in red. Red? I propose we move to the baggage car. Quickly, before the guards come. I propose we get off this train. Watch your blood pressure. My nephew Izzy just killed over one day, mid mango. Stress, it's a killer, sir. And he's a fruit bat. No meat, no bloody. Escape! Oh, you're right, it's very upsetting, sir. I guess this relic where he's broken. Oh, 
All right, now, sir, take it easy there. Just remember what I said to you about stress. I sold my soul for this. Oh. My life, my very existence depends on it. And you <laughs> almost destroyed it. I get it, I get it. You like it, you bought it. See that you remember, you oh. miserable robot. Ah. Oh, sure, blame the bath. What the heck, where is she targets? What are you muttering about? Anastasia, sir, just wishing I could do the job for you, sir. I'd give her a ha, then a hi ya, and then a woo and I'd kick her, sir. Oh, 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 I have something else in mind. Something more enticing. Something really cruel. Are we gonna walk to Paris? We'll take a boat in Germany. Oh. Then we're walking to Germany. No, Your Grace. We're taking a bus. A bus. That's nice. Sophie, my dear! Vladdy's on his way! Who's Sophie? Who is Sophie? She's a tender little morsel. Vlad. A cup of hot <laughs> chocolate after a long walk in the snow. Vlad, it's my only officer. She's a decadent pastry filled with whipped cream and laughter. Is this a person or a cream puff? <gasps> She's the Empress's Whoa. ravishing first cousin. But... I thought we were going to see the Empress herself. Why are we going to see her cousin? Dimitri? Well, nobody gets near the Dowager Empress without convincing Sophie first. Oh, no. Not me. No, no, nobody ever told me I had to prove I was the Grand Duchess. Look, I... Show up, yes, look nice, fine, but lie? You don't know it's a lie. What if it's true? Hmm. Okay, so there's one more stop on the road to finding out who you... You are. I just thought this was something you had to see through to the end, no matter but what. Look at me, Dimitri. I am not exactly Grand Duchess material here. Uh. <laughs> Tell me, child, what do you see? I see a skinny little nobody with no past and no future. I see an engaging and fiery young woman who on a number of occasions has shown a regal command equal to any royal in the world. And I have known my share of royalty. You see, my dear, I was a member of the Imperial Court. So, are you ready to become the Grand Duchess mm -hmm. Anastasia? Mm -hmm. no. What? There is nothing left for you back there, my dear. Everything is in Paris. Hmm. Gentlemen, start your teaching. I remember it well. You were born in a palace by the sea. A palace by the sea? Could it be? Yes, that's right. You rode horseback when you were only three. Horseback riding? Me? And the horse. He was white. You made faces and terrorized the cook. <laughs> Threw him in the brook. Was I wild? Wrote the book. But you'd be hey when your father gave that look. Imagine how it was. Your long forgotten past. We lost enough to teach you and the time is going fast. All right, I'm ready. Now show those back and stand up tall. And do not walk, but try to float. I feel a little foolish. Am I floating? Like a little boat. You give a bow. What happens when... Your hand receives a kiss. Most of all remember this. If I can learn to do it, you can learn to do it. Something in your nose. If there's nothing to it. Following my footsteps, shoe by shoe. You can learn to do it too. Now elbows in and sit up straight. I've never slurped a stroganoff. I never count a stroganoff. She said that like a Romanoff. The summer. The caviar. Is there and then good night? Not until you get this right. If I can learn to do it, you can learn to do it. You can learn to do it. And you'll go through it. Tell yourself it's easy. In the butt kitchen. <gasps> and your own Uncle Vanya loved his butt Got it on you? No. The Baron Pushkin. He was short. Count Anatoly. Had a horse. A Sergei. Wore a feathered hat. I hit his gut and got it. Ah. And I recall his yellow cat. I don't believe we told him that. If you can learn to do it, I can learn to do it. Don't know how you knew it. I simply knew it. Suddenly I feel like someone new. Anya, you're a dream come true. your dress <laughs> you bought me a tent 
What are you looking for? The Russian circus. I think it's still in here. Come on. Just put it on. She's radiant and confident and born to take this chance. I taught her well, I planned it all, I just forgot romance. Vlad, how could you do this? How will we get through this? I never should have let them dance. I'm feeling a little dizzy. Kind of lightheaded. Yeah. Me too. Probably from spinning. Maybe we should stop. We have stopped. Run your way. Yes. You're doing fine. Sleep well, your majesty. <laughs> Sweet dreams are gone. There she is, master. Oh, sound asleep in her little bed. And pleasant dreams to you, princess. I'll get inside your mind where you can't escape me.
sunshine. Hello! Jump in. In person. What? You mean physically? You know what they said. If you want something done right. But that means gone topside. Exactly. I have so many fond memories of Paris. Actually, the last time I opened house with my own hands. So delicious. Time to go. But you're dead. You're falling apart, sir. How do you expect to get to Paris in one piece? I thought we'd take the train. Moscow. Uncle Boris was from Odessa. And every spring... We will take picnics by the shore on Sunday. Haven't you anything better to do? Oh, oh dear, now you have to leave now, yes. Goodbye. <laughs> no more. No more. Oh, oh, I must say, I'm so sorry. I thought that one surely was real. Well, she was real. I mean, she was human, of course, but not all of you. But we won't be fooled next time. No, I'm going to think of really hard questions. No. My heart can't take it anymore. I will see no more girls claiming to be Anastasia. Where's Uncle Boris from? What if Sophie doesn't recognize me? She will. You're Anastasia. It's just that... What? Well, three days ago I didn't have any past at all, and now I'm trying to remember an entire lifetime. That's why you got me. Now, where was Uncle Boris from? Moscow? Stanislavskayevna, summer cuffs me around. Vladi, Pivanyavonitsky, Vasilovich. Well, this is on a track then. Oh, but look at me. Well, oh, my man. Come in. Come in, everyone. I'm probably the only one shocked. May I present Her Imperial Highness, the Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna. Oh, my heavens. She certainly does look like Anastasia, but so did many of the others. Where were you born? At the Peterhof Palace. Correct. And um, how does Anastasia like her tea? I don't like tea. Just hot water and lemon. Good. Finally, we most likely find this an impertinent question, but indulge me. How did you escape during the siege of the palace? There was a boy, a boy who worked in the palace. He opened a wall. I'm sorry, <laughs> that's crazy. Walls opening. So, is she a Romanov? Oh, well, she answered every question. You hear that, child? You did it! <laughs> <laughs> so, when do we go and see the Empress? I'm afraid you don't. Come again, my pet. The Empress simply won't allow it. Now, Sophie, my bread diamond. Surely you can think of some way to arrange a brief interview with the Dowager? I refuse to buy until an answer occurs to you. Please? Do you like the Russian ballet? I believe they're performing in Paris tonight. 
methodology impressed and I love the Russian ballet. <laughs> we never miss it. We did it! We're going to see the Imperial Highness tonight! We're going to get the 10 million rubles! We are going to be up! She is the princess. Anya was extraordinary! I almost believed her! And Sophie! Sophie wants to take us shopping for the ballet! Shopping in Paris, can you believe it? don't have anything to be nervous about. She's the princess. I know, I know, but... No, 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 you don't know. I was the boy in the palace, the one who opened the wall. She's the real thing, Vlad. That means our Anya has found her family. We have found the heir to the Russian throne. And you... We'll walk out of her life forever. But well, princesses don't marry kitchen boys. I know, but we're going to go through with this as if nothing has changed. You've got to tell her. Tell me what? Uh, how, how beautiful you look. Wow, thank you. Oh, it's you. Fine. 
Wait here for just a moment. I'll go in and announce you properly. Dimitri. Yes? Look, we've been through a lot together. Uh-huh. And I just wanted to... Yes? Well... Thank you, I guess. Yes. Thank you for everything. Anya, I... Yes? I'm... I... Um... Yes? I want to wish you good luck, I guess. Oh. Uh... Good luck. Well, here goes. Please inform Her Majesty, the Dowager Empress, <laughs> that I have found her granddaughter, the Grand Duchess Anastasia. She's waiting to see her just outside the door. I'm very sorry, young man, but the Dowager Empress, she will see no one. You may tell that impertinent young man that I have seen enough Grand Duchess Anastasias to last me a lifetime. You better go. <laughs> Please, let me just... Now, if you'll excuse me, I wish to live out the remainder of my lonely life in peace. Oh, I'll see you to the door. Come, come now. Come to the door. <laughs> Your Majesty, I intend you no harm. My name is Dimitri. I used to work at the palace. Well, that's one I haven't heard, I must say. Wait, don't go, please. My name is Dimitri. I used to work at the palace. Well, that's one I haven't heard, I must say. Wait! Don't go, please! If you'll just hear me... I know what you're after. I've seen it before. Men who train young women in the royal way. But if your highness will just listen... Haven't you been listening? I've had enough. I don't care how much you have fashioned this girl to look like her, sound like her, or act like her. In the end, it never is her. This time it is her! Dimitri, I've heard of you. You're that con man from St. Petersburg who was holding auditions to find an Anastasia of Nukalaya. But, Your Grace, we've come all the way from Russia just and to others see... have come from Timbuktu. No, it's that. It's not that. It's not what you think. How much pain will you inflict on an old woman for money? Remove him at once. But she is Anastasia, I'm telling you. She's the Grand Duchess. If you'll only speak to her, you'll see. That was all a lie, No, no. You used me? I was just part of your con to get her money? No, 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 no. Look, it may have started out that way, but everything's different now. Because you really are Anastasia. You well, are! Stop it! From the very beginning, you lied! And I not only believed you, I actually... Ugh! Anya, please! When you spoke of the hidden door of the wall opening and the little boy... Listen to me, that was... No! I don't want to hear about anything that I said or remember. You just leave me alone! <laughs> Anya, please! You have to know the truth! <laughs> I'm not ill yet, and I won't slow down, not until you listen. Oh, how dare you! Stop this car immediately! Stop this car! You have to talk to her. Just look at her, please! I won't be badgered by you a moment longer. Do you recognize this? Where did you get this? I know you've been hurt, but it's just possible that she's been as lost and alone as you. You'll stop at nothing, will you? I'm probably about as stubborn as you are. Go away, Dimitri. Very well who you thought I was. Who exactly are you? I was hoping you could tell me. My dear, I'm old and I'm tired of being conned and tricked. I don't want to trick you. And I suppose the money doesn't interest you either? I just want to know who I am. Whether or not I belong to a family. Your family. You're a very good actress. Best yet, in fact, but I've had enough. Peppermint? And oil for my hands. Yes. yes. I spilled a bottle. The carpet 
was soaked, and it forever smelled of peppermint. Like you. I used to lie there on that rug, and oh, how I missed you when you went away. When you came here, to Paris. What is that? This? Well, I've always had it ever since before I can remember. May I? It was our secret. My Anastasia's and mine. A music box. To, to sing me to sleep when you were in Paris. Some cologne. I want to look my best. That might take some work, sir. That's not good. We're going to a party. A party in Paris? That's right. Oh, I could teach you the latest dance step. It starts with like a whoop, and then you get really crazy with the hips, sir. It's fun. We'll let the Grand Duchess Anastasia have her moment. Who cares? And then we'll kill her. I think then we'll kill her? Sir, what happened to the party idea? That's where we'll kill her. <laughs> Crush her at the height of her glory. And we're back to the crushing. Sir, I'm begging you, please, please forget the girl and get a life. Oh, I'll get a life, Bartok. Yes. <laughs> I remember now how much I love them. They would not want us to live in the past. Not now that we have found each other. Hmm. Oh, look here. The drawing you gave me. Remember? <laughs> yes. Olga made me so mad. She said it looked like a pig riding a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> she was right. In your laughter, once again, I hear my Mickey, your dear father. But you have the beauty of your mother, Alexandra. Empress of all Russia. Sent for me, Your Grace. Ten million rubles, as promised with my gratitude. I accept your gratitude, Your Highness, uh, but I, I don't want the money. What do you want, then? Unfortunately, nothing you can give. Young man, where did you get that music box? You were the boy, weren't you? The servant boy who got us out. You saved her life and mine, then you restored her to me. Yet, you want no reward. Not anymore. Why the change of mind? It was more a change of heart. I must go. Hello, Dimitri. Hello. Did you collect your reward? My business is complete. Uh, young man, you will bow and address the princess as your highness. No, that's not necessary. Please, your highness. I'm glad you found what you were looking for. Yes, I'm glad you did too. Well then, goodbye, your highness. Look, fabulous! Ooh. Do you mind? 
Don't cost on your wonderful look. <clears throat> well, if you're ever in St. Petersburg again, look me up. So long, Vlad. Ah, <sighs> my boy. You're making a mistake. Trust me. This is the one thing I'm doing right. So long, Mutt. I can't stay. I don't belong here. He's not there. Oh, I know he's not Pete. Who's not there, Grandma? A remarkable young man who found a music box. No, he's probably too busy spending his reward money as fast as he can. Look at them dance. You were born into this world of glittering jewels and fine titles, but I wonder if this is what you really want. Of course. Of course it is. I found what I was looking for. I found out who I am. I found you. Yes, you did find me. And you'll always have me. But is it enough? My darling. He didn't take the money. He didn't? Knowing that you are alive, seeing the woman you have become, brings me joy I never thought I could feel again. Whatever you choose, we will always have each other. Grandma, can't you tell me that... Oh, <laughs> 
Firebox! This is for my family! I'll tear you to pieces! And this, this is for you! Don't be done yet! Grandmama, wish me luck. We'll be together in Paris again soon. A bientôt! I will not. Isn't it romantic? It's a perfect ending. No, it's a perfect beginning. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> 